Hello, I'm gonna walk through and show how to use eMarketer. And um, it's got tons of different data points from all different sources. And they do a really great job of aggregating all of them together and putting them into reports, articles, charts. It has some interactive things as well. All Googlers get access to it, so it's something that is a, a quick go-to resource. Um, so I'll show you how to, to use it. Uh, my name is Mike Roberts. I am an account strategy manager in GCS in the Hypo East. dive in. So this is the homepage. If you don't have a subscription, uh, sign up and get one. And when you come here, search, the search function is the easiest to use, uh, but it does have these like daily news, latest reports, what's popular, etc. But if I, for example, care about like, you know, footwear, um, this is something that will pull up a whole bunch of different results relating to footwear. And I can look at it by region. I'm gonna only focus on North America. I'm gonna look at, uh, you can look at content type. So if I only wanna look at charts, for example, because I'm looking just for some data points, I will look at the articles and the reports. Uh, they have like 30 page reports. You can download them and send them to clients if you want. Uh, I typically don't because they're just like really long and dense and generally it's better to curate the best stuff and let them focus on fewer things. Um, and, but, but I will like form opinions based on what they have in the reports. So uh, I will think about my point of view. I will find the data points that support certain points of view. So sometimes I know a trend is happening, but I wanna be able to identify like, you know, how much that trend is growing or whatever. So the reports are great for that. The charts are really great when I'm trying to build like a BFD as well, when I'm trying to get specific data points, certain kinds of things. So the topic is interesting, it breaks out you know, ad spending, marketing, um, you know, different kinds of categories like that. It also breaks out industry and demographics and publication date. So um, the more things you click, the less things show up. So, you know, in this case, apparel and footwear industry ad spending in Germany by media. So when you hover over it, it does show this chart here. I did select US. I don't know why it's showing me this um, so I'm, if I, I'm gonna unclick this ad spending and make it broader and when I click on North America I'm gonna make sure that I click on United States so <coughs> this now shows charts for footwear in the US and it ranks them by date uh, so the latest is in from June of 2019 and I generally like get a quick look at um, what the data is looking at, make sure it's generally close to what I'm, what I care about. And then I will click in deeper and actually get the chart. And, um, and eMarketer is really fantastic for having a, a self-contained chart that you can just copy this image, like, you know, so I can copy the chart or I can screenshot it or whatever. And it's got all of the information you'd want. So, you know, there was 16, you know, 1,628 uh, number of people in this survey. These are the ages, you know, this is how they select them. This is the source that eMarketer got them from. So uh, they pull in sources from all over the place, which is why it's so easy to use them because it covers so much different kinds of content. Um, and the, the challenge is that some of the charts are pretty meaty. So this one's only showing like one uh, column of data, but there's some that get pretty complex. So I usually try to, you know, you can copy and paste these directly into a deck, but I also just try to recreate these charts with just the data that I want to use. So I may only use like the top five, for example, or I'll use the top couple. And if one of my clients is one of these or my client aspires to be one of these, I'll include that one. And I might include like some at the bottom that are smaller just to show the relative difference between them. So the difference between, you know, eBay and Amazon is huge. So I may like include that just to make the chart look like it's, you know, there's something to comparison. Uh, you know, Amazon's that much larger if you show a small thing next to it. So that's one way of looking at it. Um, 
there are there's the ability to download the data as well so if I look at uh, you know some of these are they get to be more complex like you know there's multiple data points going on like this one's kind of similar to that where there's <coughs> more data points that are a little harder to copy so if I'm trying to recreate my own chart I may just download the data and that could be an easier way to sort of get it than uh, copying it manually and there's less room for error probably. Um, you can also try to look at, at just larger trends so if I start at an industry level and I just want to look at like retail for example uh, where is retail or luxury goods say <clears throat> it's going to pull up the top articles, interviews that they've done, reports that they've done, and um, and the top charts. So I might also just use this view to get a quick pulse of, um, you know, what are things like it's selecting the filters for me on the left hand side now, and there's a lot of stuff here that. Um, I can kind of peruse quickly like this, like I was before. So another thing that I do like is looking at the forecasts because um, clients always want to know what's going to happen in the future. And so this has a really great view of looking at, you know, different forecasts of all kinds. So this is looking at, you know, forecasts of Pinterest, um, forecasts of Reddit, of connected TV. So maybe I want to look at, um, I don't know, like forecast for connected TV and to see how quickly is that space growing. And then it takes you to this interactive chart view. And I can select a number of different metrics here. So when I want things to show up on the chart, um, maybe I, instead of like connected TV ad spending, I want uh, like, let's see, connected TV users. I would select this and it would update the chart with that. And maybe I want, instead of, uh, you know, I can only show two things. So if I don't want the percentage of the population, I can uncheck this. And maybe I do want percentage of like digital video viewers, I'll check it and it'll change the percentage number. Uh, so this is nice. This is like the most customizable version of eMarketer. It's not as customizable as other tools, but it's, um, it's pretty nice. And uh, it does allow you to export it. It allows you to uh, export the data, um, which is all pretty nice. So that's eMarketer. It's a it's a staple. Again, I would stress, don't just screenshot these. Like unless you need to like quick turn on super quick. If you're doing like a, a big pitch, don't just screenshot it because usually they're pretty distracting. Um, it's usually better to sort of frame it. Uh, Unless it's a simple thing like this, but a lot of the e-marketer charts are pretty complex. So it shows too many options, too many breakouts and all that. So that's how to use e-marketer.